the left and missed it. He took the chance, and then they immediately went into a clinch. The referee, James Barry, marked them from the clinch. Both boys were very serious. Dempsey leads again with his left and the misses, then comes in close and drives his left to the body, and then two left to the back of Sonny's head. Sonny has, has yet not shot a blow. Dempsey is a little the aggressor so far. Dempsey pushes a right left to the body, and Sonny counters with a long left to the face. As they are in a clinch, the referee comes between them and parts them. Both boys look very serious. They're dancing around the ring, feeling each other out now for just a moment. Still the same, Sonny in the center, Dempsey going around him. No blow has been struck. Dempsey comes in and is met to the left, to the side of the face. It was only a glancing blow. He did no damage. There again, Boxing conservatively, Dempsey's left goes to Gene's body, and then Gene comes through with a one two left and right to Dempsey's jaw. And now they're boxing quietly again, feeling one another on another and out. Dempsey turns with his left, nothing stirring yet. Gene turns with his left, follows up with a right turn, but doesn't come through. He leads with his left, and they go into a clinch. Very few blows have been struck. Both boys are being very, very careful. As Jack comes in with his head bent, she meets him with a downward sliding left hand. It lands on Jack's ear. Then they go into a clinch, but immediately part. They're again very quiet. Jack puts his left to the body. The team was going away. Jim's left goes to Dempsey's body. Dempsey does not return. Now the right over. Jim drives Jack to the rope. And as they go into a clinch, lands a right to the face. No damage done by either boy so far. Jim is following Jack. That is unusual. Gene again tries the one-two, but misses with his left and slides off the side of Jack's head with the right. Jack does not attempt to return the blow. Gene again drives the one-two, misses with his left, and the right goes on to Jack's face. We will follow the round just a little party between two boys feeling himself out before the fight begins. Jack drives his left to the chest. Now Jack is following Sonny. Jack shoots his left again is a little bit short. Sonny hasn't shot a blow. There, Sonny tries the one-two again. Gets his right in. Jack is close in on Sonny and drives two right to the body. Jack puts his left to the body and James' left goes to the face at the same time. Jack has now begun his weaving, dodging tactics. And Gene Tunney puts a hard right over on Jack's jaw, which was partially guarded. They came into a clinch. They're out of it again. And now they're boxing in the center of the ring, just looking one other, another over. Tunney fires his right and left again, missing his both. And then puts a hard right to the jaw. Dempsey puts three hard left to Gene's body. And they're on the rope with Dempsey's back to the rope when the referee parks them. Dempsey is now following Gene. Gene again tries the one two. And as he has done constantly, misses with the left and connects with the right to the side of Jack's head, which is guarded partially by the shoulder. Gene is carrying his guard low. Jack is carrying his higher than usual. Gene puts two right to the side of Jack's face. And as they're together, Jack drives a short left to the body. Gene is dabbing Jack off, but is more of an aggressor than usual. 
Chain put a short left and a hard right to Jack Shaw. Not on the button by any means, but they're not so good. Jack comes through with a left to the face. And now Jack is again wandering around Gene. Gene is in the center of the ring most of the time with Dempsey walking around him. Dempsey drives a hard left under the heart. And as he does so, they go into a clinch, and as they come out of it, Gene's left gets Dempsey in the jaw, but not doing much damage. Dempsey weaves in, Gene takes a face at him with his right, but misses. And now they're in the center of the ring and are pummeling each other's body for the moment. And then Kane puts over three good rights as he gets away from a clinch and they go into another clinch. They all right for short. Dempsey is still following Kane. And now there's nothing doing for the moment. Jack stabs for the midsection and misses. And Kane comes back with a right to the side of Jack's head, which is high. Pink is breathing harder than honey. There's a bell, they're out for the third round. Again, in the center of the ring, Gene does not move about as much as Jack. As Jack comes in, he's met with a hard right to the side of the head, then he wrestles Gene over to the rope, and Sonny was holding. Dempsey's trying to get away and finally does from under Jack, from under Gene's arm. Now, they're working in the center of the ring. They are not shooting nearly as many blows as they did last year in Philadelphia. Gene seems to be taking it easier. Gene again attempted his one-two, but was short with both hands. And then Dempsey goes a hard left to Gene's midsection. Another. And Gene swung with two rights over Jack's head. And then, as they are in a half clinch, Jack pounded the back of Honey's head with four rights. They're clinching now. And now the referee has them parted. Honey tries his one, two, and misses with both hands, and then comes in with a second right. And now they're clinching on the rope, and Dempsey throws a two left to the back of Tony's head as they were in a half switch. Gene leads with his left. Get Gene, get Jack once, but Jack comes in and drives left and right twice to the midsection. And I think that both didn't feel so good. Now they're sparring for the moment. Jack weaving, bobbing up and down. Gene drives his right to Jack's head, and Dempsey, in a half clinch, comes back with three short rights to Gene's body. And then Gene puts a terrific, the hardest blow of the fight, over on the side of Dempsey's head, but Dempsey retaliated with two left to the body and a left to the right, and they're pounding each other as they clinch. The referee parts them. They're in the center of the ring again. Dempsey leads for the body with his left and misses. These are not the Dempsey jabs, but straight, long left. Dempsey put a hard left and right to the body and caught two hard left to the face in return. The last one didn't do Dempsey any good. But Dempsey brings his left up right to the center of Tony's body, which he is driving at constantly. And now they're sparring, boxing for the moment. King right found the side of Jack's head. Then they went into a clinch. The referee parted them, coming between them. And now Dempsey is following Sonny. And as they go into a clinch and the bell rings, Sonny's left goes to Jack's body. And Jack's right and left find Sonny's body. And I rather think that we should give the round to them. Yeah, Jack shoots his left to the body, but it's a little short. Gene is backing away. Gene shot a right and a left to Jack's head and hard. Gene shot another, shoots another right to Jack's face. And another, oh, a hard left. Gene shot a terrific left to Jack's face. Gene seems to be beginning to box. Gene shoots another hard left to the face. Jack shoots 
squeeze hard left and one right to the body as they go into a clinch, and James right and left find Dempsey's face again. Now that Barney, James is seemingly beginning to wake up. He drives a left and a right to Dempsey. Drives Dempsey over into the corner, and they're fighting like a couple of wild animals over there. Dempsey has his head on Kane's shoulder, but as a general thing, Kane is to some extent taking the blows away. Dempsey lands a hard left to the body, and Kane comes back with a hard right. And as, as Dempsey ducks, Kane comes in, and they begin to clinch. Kane forcing Dempsey back to the rope. They come out again in the center of the ring. The referee spots them. And now Dempsey is weaving again, drives his left to Gene's body, which is somewhat red. Another left to Gene's body. And Gene drives a hard right and left to Jack's head. Another hard right. And Dempsey puts in some wearying body punishment with his right to Gene's body before they go into a quiz. They're back to the rope. The referee parks them. They're out in the center of the ring again. Gene, very quiet, Dempsey weaving. Gene caught Dempsey with a hard right and another hard left. And Theory put a, Gene put a fifth left over to Jack's jaw and then he sunk his left glove into Dempsey's midsection. And now he has Dempsey against the rope. And they're parted again. They're out in the center of the ring. Gene hits Dempsey the, another, the harder shot of the fight. A terrific left to the face. Gene puts left to right, left to the face. And now, as they come into a clinch, Gene again sinks that left to the body. Now they're firing a moment. They're right over our heads now. It's difficult to see. Gene puts, drives his left in to the body and twirls with his right, but misses. Gene puts a terrific right over to Dempsey's body, and Dempsey is groggy unquestionably. Dempsey is in bad shape and is going down in a neutral corner. No, he's not down. But he no, he's not down. But he took three hard lefts to the face and bounded around on the rope. Finally, he came out as only Dempsey can. Johnny sails it again with right and left to the jaw as the round. And the boys didn't hear the round, and they're still fighting three seconds after the bell. We go. The 10 second whistle is on. The bell with a welcome sound to Jack Dempsey. That round. They're out in the center again. Dempsey, honey, puts a left to the side of Dempsey's head. Honey is now following Jack, drives a right to his head, and Dempsey drives a good hard left to the body. Dempsey comes in with two short rights to the body. Oh, Tony put a hard left to Dempsey's face, and Dempsey came in gnarly. He drove a left and a right to Tony's body. Tony's right hand goes over on the side of Jack's head and hits his Jack's head, hits his own shoulder. They clinch for the moment. The referee comes between them. And Tony is following Jack to the rope. He's feeling him out with his left. Swung his right and missed. And then put his left to Jack's face. A short clinch. And they're out in the center again. Tony jabs Jack's body just above the chest, almost to the neck. Tony jabs another left to the face and rush Dempsey to the rope. Both boys are fighting. Tony again drives his left to Jack's face and for the moment seems to be out Dempsey and Dempsey. They're in the center of the ring and Tony's left finds Dempsey three times as Dempsey attempts to weave in. Tony's left again comes over to Jack's face, followed by the right. The old one, too. Jack leaps in with a hard left to the side of Tony's face, and Tony seemed almost wobbled for a moment. I'm not sure. They went into a clinch. Tony at least knew he got hit that time. And now, Tony, as 
is backing away for the moment. Up there, he leaps in with a short left hook. The Dempsey's jaw, and then a left and a right, while Dempsey shoots a left and a right to the body. Jean's left and right come slamming into Jack's jaw again, and then Jack retaliates with a nice left hook to the side of Jean's face. Jean gets Dempsey a short left. Now they're boxing. Dempsey retaliates with a short left to Jean's face. And as Dempsey comes in, he catches two lefts to the body. Johnny said something to the referee. I don't know what it was. They're weaving about one another. Gene's guard is right on his stomach. He didn't come through with a lift and a right, just as the bell rang, and Jack, for an instant, held on for dear life. A time, but it seemed shorter than the fighters, I should imagine. There's the bell. The party's on. There's the bell. They're again in the middle of the ring, working around one another for the moment. They've been giving Dempsey smelling salts in his corner, but Sonny hasn't taken any relief, whatever. Not a blow has been struck so far. Sonny drives a hard left and a right to Dempsey's face, and Dempsey drives a hard right to the body, and now they're just trading blows in the middle of the ring about evenly for the moment. Now, they're in the center of the ring again, sparring for the second. Dempsey is following Sonny. Tunney swings a right and misses. Dempsey connects on the face with a short right to left, and Tunney lands his left on the side of Jack's head. Jack follows Tunney and lands two short left to the body. Then Tunney comes in, and while they're in the clinch, Dempsey shoots or pounds the back of Tunney's head for the moment. They spar again, and Tunney gets over two hard left to Jack's head. As they're in a clinch, Jack left find Tunney's midsection, which has now become very red. Dempsey's skin still retains that same brown. Tunney put over a long right hook, but too high up to have any great effect. Barring again. Tunney's left finds Jack's body, but not heavily. Jack shot a left to the jaw that snapped Tunney's head back. But they fight in the middle of the ring on even terms. Jack concluding the tussle with a short left hook to the side of the jaw. Jack has begun bobbing and weaving again, and as he does so, Gene gets him with a right and a left too high up on the face. Gene is now following Jack. Jack Dempsey throws his right to Sonny Shaw, and it hurts. Now they're quiet again for the moment as Sonny drives a left to the jaw and then follows with a right, which misses a haymaker, but it didn't quite land. Then he does land with another short left, and as Dempsey comes in, Gene gets him and gets him hard in the jaw. Now Gene backs away. Dempsey goes after him. And they're sucking each other. Short smashes. Dempsey put over a good right and left. But, final, but right after, he got a good right and left to the face in return. And as they're in a half space, they're trying to find a vital spot as the referee takes care of them apart. As they come out of the half clinch and just as the bell rings, gentlemen, the 10 second whistle has just blown. Dave Barry is looking the two boys over as he stands quietly on the other side of the ring. They're coming together. This is the seventh round. They're up. Neither boy is cut or marked as yet. They both look as if they mean business and plenty, but they don't seem to get each other quite vitally. Dempsey came into Tunney. Both of them shot both hands. Nobody did any damage as they came out. Tunney's right caught Dempsey lightly on the face. Then Tunney shot a hard left to Dempsey's face, which he follows up with two mean left. And as the left is in, his, is in Dempsey's face, he lands a right. Then Dempsey comes back. And Tunney is down. Tunney is down. 
from the front of our right, our left, and right to the stage. Almost on the rope. And now again, 
Jack looks as though he didn't particularly like the going for the moment. Gene comes through with a hard left and a hard right and another left to Jack's face. And then there's the one two. That time it connected. Gene drove his one two to the face. Jack has not landed a blow now in the last 15 seconds. Uh, Jack's eyes seem to be cut just above the eye, just a little bit. Nothing to amount to a great deal. Jack just started a right when the bell rang. And he's coming up for the ring. Coming up for the ring. The 10 second whistle is blown. In just a couple of seconds. The bell. Here they are. They're in the center of the ring again. Jack goes after him, swings the left, but it's guarded by Sonny. No blow has been struck. Jack drives a short left to the body, comes in, drives a right short uppercut to the head, and then as they clinch, pounds the back of Tony's head. They're out of it now. Dempsey is following Tony about the ring. Tony tries his wound one, two, but Dempsey has learned a pretty good depth for it and is getting away. Following the one, two, they went into a clinch, which immediately, from which they parted. And now, Gene, Swin Gene uses the same one, two, the left, then the right again, lands this time, but doesn't seem to bother the Manasseh Mauler very much. Dempsey forgot his wheel for three or four rounds, but now he's beginning again, weaving, ducking, Tony's left, goes into Jack's face, but lightly, Jack swings the haymaker right, just misses Tony's jaw. And as they go into a clinch, they found each other's midsection. With no advantage, apparently, for the moment. Gene is following Jack now, puts a hard left over, but Jack gets inside of the right. But there, the left and right, the one two landed on Jack and hurt. And Dempsey, or Sonny, goes another right to the side of the head. Then the left jab gets that bad eye of Jack. And he's getting smeared up considerably as to color. Jack's eye looks bad. Again the left and then the right. Jack almost went down, but his knees came up and held him. Machine comes up with the one, two again and lands. Jack's head is down low on his chest to keep from catching it right on the jaw. And they go into a clinch. Both of eyes, both of Jack's eyes are in very, very bad shape now. Now they're sparring for a moment. Just help. Tony puts a hard left over, then a hard right to Jack's bad eye, and then another hard right and a hard left. While they are fighting a partial clinch, and as they come out of it, a ten left left and right go over. Jack didn't land a blow there. This is Tony's round so far. Unquestionably, and it begins to look as if it's a superior condition. There goes the right. The right landed on Dempsey's jaw again, and then the left, and then the right. And Dempsey has not landed a blow at this time. Dempsey drives in with his desperation and drives a hard right and left to Gene's face, but Gene, or to Gene's midsection, but Gene comes back with a hard right to the face. And Dempsey's eyes are getting worse. Again, the one two to Jack's face. And the best. For the last round, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in case some of you don't know what's going on, this is a boxing contest of 10 rounds between Jack Dempsey, former champion, and Gene Tunney, the champion. They shake hands, and Dempsey comes in, and Tunney is down from a hard left and half a push. Now, Tunney looks mad. Tunney went down, and they're together, body to body. Blow to blow, six for six, one after the other. Now they're in the center of the ring that stop for the moment. And Tony's right and left goes over to Dempsey's face. And then Dempsey shot a hard right to the side of Tony's face that made Tony hold on for the moment. Then Dempsey's right and left both come up as they're fighting close together. And Gene is protecting himself for the moment more than fighting. Johnny, Dempsey for the moment did the fighting. Ooh. Quiet for a second. Gene tries his left, slides off the side of Jack's face. No damage. Dempsey comes in again with his weaving tactic. Tony catches Dempsey on the face with two lefts and another and a right. Dempsey gets Tony twice in the body. 
And then they both hold. They're in the clinch. Now, coming towards the end, very close to trying to measure each other, Keaton puts a left and a right and another right to the side of Jack's face. Firing again. Jack is fairly well cut up, but they're both fighting hard. Jack puts two hard left hooks to the side of Sonny's face, and Sonny drives a left short left jab to the body. Come on, Jack. Again, Tony's left flicks out and catches Dempsey on the bad eye, and then the right comes over and drives hard on Dempsey's bad eye. And it's a very, very bad eye. Keen tries a whole barrage of rights and left and landed one apiece. Then he comes in with a left uppercut, straightens Jack up, and then lands his right and they go into a clinch. Jack's fighting now very low because he has no other way to keep a right of, to keep away from that devastating left flick. And then the right cross. Again, the left and the right come over from Tunney, and Dempsey retaliates with a hard left hook. And then, as they in fighting, Tunney has a little the better of the argument and drives two short lefts to Jack's face, and Dempsey is very, very tired. I don't mean on the verge of a knockout, but very tired. And now, a right staggers Dempsey, and another right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and a right, and Dempsey is almost down. And the fight is over, it's all out, and Dempsey is practically out on his feet. And I think there is no question now who is the champion?